Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 did come out quite a long time ago, but you know, finally I've got it so I can make a review. So yeah, let's just get into the unboxing. Okay guys, so this is the uh, iPhone. My mum got it in the colour of red because that's like, that's what our old phone colour was and she kind of likes it. So yeah, let's open it up. Okay, so this looks amazing. So, wow, this this honestly looks so cool. So, obviously, the new thing about the uh, iPhone 12 is that the uh, the edges here are uh, like square. They're not curved around like the old ones. I kind of like this design a bit more as it's like easy to hold and like I don't feel like it will slip out of my hands and also here we have some chargers uh, this is kind of new because it's the uh, it's Thunderbolt th Thunderbolt cable and USB-C which is new I think it's new I don't I have an iPhone 11 maybe it was like this an iPhone 11 but yeah, this is new to me, so yeah. Also, here we have some some information cards about it. Apple stickers as well. So yeah, this honestly looks so good. Also, the cameras also look great. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a really nice size, perfect size. So yeah, let's get it charged and set it up. So guys, uh, here it is. We've put a, uh, a case on it, a, sc a screen protector onto it. And we have also popped a Autobox clear case onto it. Autobox is a really, really uh, good case for you guys to get. I'll put a link down below for that. So yeah, let's just get into the review. So uh, let's just talk about the things that Apple have added to the iPhone 12. So number one is the square sides now i really love this obviously from iphone 6 to iphone 11 they have all been kind of curved obviously they are quite quite squarish but you know they just curve and they're kind of easy to slip out of your hands if, especially if you don't have a case so you know i feel really like like it feels really secure in my hands when i'm holding this you know and it really like brings back you know that kind of feel of the iPhone 5, you know, I used to have an iPhone 5S, that was quite a long time ago, but you know, it, give, it brings back that nice, you know, that feeling of just that, like that square size. And also, yeah, it just feels really secure. And like, it just it's just so easy to, you know, it's just so, it, it just, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hands. You know, it, it, it feels really good. So guys, obviously this is the uh, the normal iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 Pro has three cameras, but this one has two. Uh, the two cameras are a an ultra wide lens. I'm not sure which one of these it is, but it's one of these that means that it can uh, like film, say like, so say on this camera, probably you can film just me and the desk behind me, but if you use the ultra wide lens, you can probably fit in, I don't know, I have a, bass guitar right here and then I have another I have like a bookshelf on this side and a drum kit on this side so it'll probably be able to fit you know half of this room so yeah I'm going to be testing out these cameras and comparing it to my iPhone SE which I'm using right now for the camera so yeah I'm going to be testing and like comparing these two cameras to the camera that I'm using right now um I actually used to use my iPhone 6s as a camera so you guys might be seeing a difference from my last video on this camera uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be comparing my new phone to this camera. So guys, uh, this iPhone 12 also has a ceramic, ceramic I think it's called, ceramic screen or ceramic like shield, which is uh, this thing that is like shatterproof, uh, which will pre obviously prevent it from shattering when you like drop it, it won't crack into pieces. Uh, so that, that's a good thing, I feel like without this screen uh, protector on it, it'll still be pretty safe. So apparently the ceramic shield uh, is a little bit uh, soft, which obviously will prevent it from shattering, but that does mean that it can easily get scratched. Um, so I think it'll be good maybe in the iPhone 13 or 14, they can maybe make a shatter and scratch proof, just to, you know, that would be like an invincible uh, iPhone screen. Uh, yeah, I feel like this, 
the ceramic uh, case, uh, ceramic screen shield thing really uh, like help uh, help this iPhone 12 from breaking so yeah and also for uh, the iPhone you can use the uh, the MagSafe charger which I think is pretty cool uh, so on the back of it you can put a magnetic circle type thing I don't actually have this charger so uh, I'll just pop up a picture of what it will look like uh, so apparently if you just pop it on then it will charge uh, which I think is pretty cool I don't know if that charges as well as the normal charger but I'll check and I'll do my research about that so yeah so guys i've done some research and the magsafe charger is a little bit slower than the lightning charger but still if you just can't like be bothered to get a cable and stick it into it i guess you can just put it down and it's a lot more easier uh here back here i have a I have a, uh, what's it called, a wireless charger with my airpods onto it, so with this it can just go onto it and it should, should charge, yes, so now it is charging, so yeah, so yeah, uh, of course it can wireless charge, it has been able to wireless charge for my phone 7 I think, iPhone 7 or 8 but yeah still that's pretty cool so guys also the iphone 12 has 5g which uh means that it's going to be uh faster to process things and uh faster like transmissions and it also has a lower latency than 4g so yeah they have added the 5g onto this and that is also very good so guys enough about talking about the uh the differences let's just get into testing the camera out so guys uh this is the iphone se camera uh it should be really good this is obviously the se only has one camera so this is just the normal camera so yeah now let's compare this to the iphone 12. so guys this is the iphone 12 camera uh you might see an improvement to the iphone se and i'm now about to show you the wide angle camera so yeah you, you're probably seeing like this side of the room and like the drum set and stuff like that i feel like this camera would be amazing for vlogging but yeah it's honestly just crazy how wide this can shoot so guys i just re-watched uh the video that i took on here and i am honestly just amazed i can't believe how wide this can shoot it's honestly just amazing and just to let you know it does it can shoot wide angle on every single mode time lapse slow-mo and the picture mode which is just amazing and i'm so jealous because this is, isn't my phone uh the iphone se is my phone and obviously it doesn't shoot wide angle but you know still i still think the iphone se camera is good so guys honestly this phone is just amazing you know i'm I, I really love these cameras this camera is just so cool the way it just shoots the whole room i'm just uh, i'm i'm amazed honestly so yeah i do recommend you get this if you are if you have like an outdated phone you know if you're on an iphone 7 or 8 then don't upgrade it to a 10 just get a 12 if you can afford it obviously and if you want it some people don't actually like the way that it doesn't have a home button and stuff like that but you know obviously the se that i'm using has a home button but i really like this so yeah guys i hope i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope it like helped you out with uh buying the iphone 12 i'll put a link below and then don't forget to like subscribe and then put on post notifications so you know when a new video comes out also comment down below what you'd like to see me do next and i'll see you guys in the next one